John, the nation is experiencing mass layoffs and furloughs. They are sweeping our community right here in Las Vegas as well. And many employers right now are concerned about their health care coverage. Our next guest can shine a little light on the topic. Absolutely. This is Gabrielle Sansone. She's the vice president of sales with Prominence Health Plan. She joins us now with more. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me. Uh, good to hear. As I'm glad that you're uh, you're healthy and safe in your house, as are we. That's what we're all doing right yeah. now. And it's a weird time right now. I'll tell you, for for local employers, you know, keeping their health care coverage during this time can be pretty uh, tricky. Tell us about Prominence Health uh, Health Plan and, and how you're helping these local employers. So first and foremost, um, Prominence Health Plan we're open, and many of our employees are working remotely, so they're available, you know, to assist our members, ask questions. You know, help them navigate through the system. Um, so, really, in this in this trying time, what we're doing is we're working very, very closely with our local brokers and with our clients. The exception to requests are actually coming in on a daily basis, and what we're discovering is that it's not a one size fits all. These requests are coming in because these groups are different: large groups, small groups, and they all have different needs. So, what we've decided to do is say, let's tackle each one of these exceptions as they come through on a case-by-case -case basis so we can make sure that we address each and every one of their concerns. So as mm. one of the advantages of being with Prominence Health Plan is that we are a local and a regional health plan. We're very nimble so we can react very quickly and make decisions quickly and we can roll out our processes in a timely manner. And also too, the advantage um, that we have is we are owned by Universal Health Services. We're one of the largest providers of hospitals in the country who actually is the parent company to Valley Health Systems right here in Las Vegas. Having that connectivity to the hospital system gives us a different perspective on the healthcare that's actually being delivered in each one of our markets. For example, our health plan CEO meets daily with the CEOs across the country, and he's able to get firsthand information on some of the newest developments. And what that does for us as a health plan, it allows us the opportunity so we can make adjustments as needed and we can forecast more accurately to help our clients. Interesting. And maybe you could tell us a little bit more about what your clients are going through right now. Gabrielle, I'm wondering, um, so many questions out there when it comes to healthcare. Our, our furloughed workers, our companies that are closing their doors right now, still holding onto their healthcare plans? So yes, they are. So, you know, the, the terminology furlough basically means that they're technically still employed. They're quote on an, they're on a, a leave of absence, if you will. And traditionally on a health insurance, you must have 30 hours a week or more to keep your coverage up. But yeah. during this time, we have waived that actively at work provision, allowing for these employees, whether they work zero hours, five hours, or the full 30 hours to keep their coverage as long as their employer pays their premiums. That's fantastic. That's great. A great way that you're helping uh, employers. I know there's uh, other ways that you're helping employers as well. So some other ways that we're helping the employers, a couple of things that we're doing. So number one, premium payments. Unfortunately, employers, again, whether you're small or large, are struggling with premium payments. So what we're doing is we're offering a couple things. Deferred payment plans. We're allowing um, the grace period to go past the 30 days, even offering 60 and 90 days. Wow. Or if they actually have a completely unique option that they've brought to us, we're more than happy to sit down with them. Secondly, for our small employer groups that are actually scheduled to renew May, June, and July, we are going to extend their rates so they can keep their current rates and keep their current plans now. And then we were going to offer a special open enrollment period, which will be three months from now. So these employers can bring their employees back onto the health plan. And at that time, then they can make benefit changes. They can add dependents on and do what they need to do. So they do not have to worry about that right now with all of this going on. And then hmm. the, there's a rehire provision. So for example, if you have employees that unfortunately might be laid off, but they want to rehire them back onto the health plan, we are going to waive all of the rehire provisions and basically take guidance from each one of our groups to say, when do you want these employees to come back on? And we will put them back on the plan. That's fantastic. That is great. Gabrielle, we know you are uh, right now accepting new groups, um, small businesses and large groups. And we want to touch on um, two topics before we, we uh, end our interview here. And that is that you're catering to people who are maybe not comfortable in walking 
into the doctor's office right now. Um, I assume through telemedicine and also helping people get prescriptions. Yes, that's correct. Um, two things that we're doing on the telemedicine uh, platform is we do have Teladoc. Teladoc is our current vendor who we use today for our commercial groups. It gives 24 seven access to physician care. Think of Teladoc as a virtual PCP visit um, or even for therapists. And right now the cost for that is a $0 copay, not only for a traditional office visit for your primary care physician, but also for behavioral health visit. And if you need a prescription, the prescription can be sent electronically straight to the pharmacy of your choice. And a summary report can be sent to your primary care physician to make sure that you've got that continuity of care. And, you know, I, I, I look to see what our Teladoc adoption has been since all of this happened. And we've got about a 50% increase right now in the telemedicine visits and the first time mm -hmm. users have actually increased as well. So you're starting to see an uptick in that. And unfortunately, our top diagnosis is upper respiratory. So we are continuing to see that. Wow. The second mm -hmm. level of care that they could do besides Teladoc is telemedicine. So under telemedicine, you can actually have a virtual visit, whether it's a phone call or a video with your own personal physician. And this gives some employees the comfort that I wanna to talk to my own physician. I wanna be able to have that conversation with them but still keeping the social distancing that we need to do today. Now the cost of yep. that visit will be your primary care visit or your um, specialist visit, whatever you have today in your benefit plan. Excellent. Uh, Gabrielle, Gabrielle, thank it, you so much. It, it's great to have you and thank you for making this a relatively uh, somewhat painless situation for, for people that find themselves in a predicament right now. We appreciate uh, what Prominence is doing. And if you want to learn more about Prominence Health Plan, you can just go to the website or call the number you see on your screen. Prominence Health Plan, proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.